Okay, well, it's been four weeks since we bought our new house. Uh, we had the contractors here, we had the painters here, and yesterday we had a local cleaning company come through um, and clean up after the contractors. So I feel like we're, we're there. I feel like we're done. Um, I know the contractor has a few things left to come in and do today as well as the painter. Um, they have some touch-ups to do. Uh, the contractor is going to be switching out all of the light switch covers today. And um, But we're here and we're going to head in. I'm going to give you guys the final, the final update on the renovations. And uh, hopefully by next week, we'll actually be moving in furniture. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> so Andrew, I think, is going to be um, over here either today or tomorrow building the furniture that I've purchased that came in boxes, like the crib and uh, the changing table, our bed. It all needs put together. So that is his task for the next two days is to be putting together furniture stuff. He's very excited about it. But anyway, I'm going to take you guys inside and show you guys what we've had done with the place. Okay, well, I had the fourth landscaper out yesterday. I'm, I'm hoping fourth time's a charm. Um, the first one never returned our call. The second one came out, looked at it all, said he would get us a quote, never did. Third one I called and he's like, well, fill out a questionnaire on our website and then never followed up. Now, the fourth one <laughs> actually told me we're a month out, but I'll come out and I'll look at it and I will get you a quote uh, by the end of the week. So, I've got a few more days until the end of the week, but I felt confident he was very professional and I think that um, he's gonna help us deal with all of this. I'm not sure how much it's gonna cost. He did ask me, he kind of laughed, he chuckled and he's like, well, did you have a budget in mind? <laughs> as he was taking photos of the mess. But um, I think once we get it all cleaned out, I mean, it's gonna be a little expensive up front, but then the maintenance of it probably won't be too bad. So just since yesterday, this bush has really blossomed and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, now my mom is going to come and take some of the flowers. I think she had talked about taking the ones that were like off the path. She called those like spider something. My mom does have some knowledge about gardening, but I don't even think she could handle all of this. She said those ones over there were like bee, bee bomb, and I think she's gonna take some of those with her too. So they're gonna clean up this whole area and take out the flowers. We're gonna keep the flowers all around uh, the entryway here. Railing up there has been replaced, well fixed, as well as on the other side because it was about half of that and we really just didn't feel comfortable um, with the kids. You know, they're not supposed to be out there, but kids are kids. And so I just wanted to make sure it was safe. The flowers are still doing great. <laughs> Those are the ones my dad and Juliet planted. This one, on the other hand, I have no idea where this came from. It was just randomly out in the yard. And so <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on here. It's one of, like, I absolutely love, I think it's foxglove. I love foxglove, but I have no idea where this even came from. We finally brought some chairs over <laughs> for the porch. Uh, these were from our current porch, and I'm like, Andrew, we need to bring some chairs over there. So we have two chairs. Yesterday, uh, the cleaning company came through and cleaned the kitchen for us. Uh, one of the things that they had offered to do was to wipe down the cabinets with some sort of uh, oil or something, and they actually look much better, I feel like. I feel like they look great, even the floors. I guess let's start with the dining room update, shall we? <laughs> Here is the dining room and my chosen wallpaper. The wallpaper was a very interesting experience for us. <laughs> um, the contractor's girlfriend, Cindy, did to about that corner. Um, and then I did a few strips. And then Dean, our contractor, did, I think, until half the wall. And then Andrew and I came in and did the remainder. And I'll tell you what, this closet right here was a true test of our relationship. It, it certainly was. But we managed and we got it done. <laughs> and we're still, we're still together. Um, so there you go. You ever really want to test your relationship, buy some wallpaper. There are some areas where we did have to like finagle. This is what, this is the part that I was most terrified about was getting around these edges. Um, but we are gonna put some caulk around the edges 
and uh, Andrew assures me that that will hide the um, <laughs> the seams there. We'll see, but uh, yeah, it turned out pretty nice. I still have a lot left over because I panicked a little bit when I ran out, and then I ordered three more rolls, and. <laughs> Uh, Juliet's room is done too, and I have um, two extra rolls of that. And the baby's room upstairs, I think I'm going to have an extra roll of that. So I'm prepared if ever I need to fix the wallpaper. Then we have this room. <laughs> this room over here. It looks so good. I love it. And I'm not sure even what I'm going to do with this room yet. Um, I thought about maybe put, making it an office. As you guys know, Andrew wants the barn. If he wants the barn, I get the empty room. <laughs> I get to figure out what I want to do with it. Uh, you can see the ceiling looks fantastic. I'm very happy with how this turned out. And I did pick gray for the walls because like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this room yet. So I figured once I figure that out, uh, we can maybe do something different. But for now, it's just a neutral gray. There are some of the light switch covers that I think they're going to be uh, fixing or replacing today. We are gonna head upstairs. Also couldn't make a decision on the steps. So the steps are just staying the way they are for now. I was looking up online, possibly using um, wallpaper as the back of the steps. Uh, I think you like put it on there and then you cover it in something and, and it holds up. But the other option is definitely tile. But I worry about how this curves. And I'm not sure that tile would really be an option for that. But um, maybe there's a fix that I don't know about. So ADT came through and replaced um, the smoke alarms. So now in random places in the house, we have two smoke alarms. So I think we could probably take out the old ones and just leave the new ones. Because two is probably a little bit overkill, maybe. And here we are in the bathroom. Big change to the bathroom. Uh, we still have the clawfoot tub and the pedestal sink. They are out in the barn. Um, but we now have a regular shower for the kids. Um, and I think this will suit them much better. If we do decide to do the renovations down the stairs at some point, put on that addition, we could always utilize the clawfoot tub in a master bathroom or something. New pedestal, well, new, pe new sink vanity. Um, and the painter is gonna be coming in here to paint the walls blue to match the tile. Because I feel like any other color besides tile color is going to clash. And here is Ashton's room. <laughs> There's a, still a few touch-ups that need to be done in here. Obviously the baseboard down here is a little bit sloppy and there's some white splatter there on the walls. He was so excited he wanted to put his new rug in here and he carried it up the stairs all by himself. So that was very impressive. Now out the window, you will notice we do have standing water. And that, ooh, that was the floor. <laughs> Um, and I was completely oblivious to it until you guys pointed it out. So I said something to Andrew and I think we're going to have like a roofing company come out and look at it. To me, it appears as though that drain is all clogged up from debris on the tree. So I'm almost wondering if we just clear the drain, if it will, um, start draining the way it should. But yes, I didn't even notice the standing water until you guys pointed it out. So I appreciate that looking out for me. <laughs> And then Juliet's room. So here is the teal. I don't know if I showed you guys in the last video. This is the teal we chose. Maybe I'll turn the light. There it is. <laughs> you know, and I was a little bit worried that the teal was going to clash with the wallpaper that I chose. But it's really not that bad. If anything in this room is clashing, it's the rug that Juliet absolutely loves. And, um, it's like, I can get you a new rug that matches. No, I want that one. So this is what we have to work with. She absolutely <laughs> loves this colorful rug. And uh, I think her room is just gonna be colorful and fun. And uh, I'm excited to start decorating it with her. Originally, I was actually gonna have the bed against this wall. But when we discovered it would fit over here, just barely, as you can see, um, I decided that would probably give her a lot more room 
obviously we could fit a dresser in here, which we probably wouldn't have been able to fit before. So this just kind of works out. And I'm thinking of putting like a little two seater Walmart couch there or something. And I was also playing with the idea of hanging like a curtain or something here so she could have her TV there and have like a little nook. We'll see. We are in the bedroom. We did not attempt to bring the rug up here the other day when it was just me and the kids. Um, but yes, we've got the rug, got the bed. Andrew's going to be putting together the frame that I picked out, that mustard colored frame. And I'm toying with putting it here, but I don't think it's gonna fit there. I think we might actually end up putting it against this window, which is the way it was when we bought the house. They had their bed um, right here in front of that window. But also maybe this direction would work, I'm not sure. Once Andrew has it put together, we'll probably twist it around and figure out where it looks best. As you know, nothing was done with the bathroom in here. Um, I think if I'm to do anything in here, probably gonna take down those shelves because one is chrome and one is brass and it's really messing with my head. <laughs> so I'll probably replace those with something else. Um, the tub, I'm not really a tub person. So I'm debating whether to take that out or replace it. Like it's really nice, but I just, I'm not, I've, I've never had the opportunity to be that person though, because I've never had a tub like this. So maybe I'll be like, oh my God, this is the best thing in the whole world. And I won't want to, <laughs> I don't know. We will see. But yeah, No updates here in the bathroom. This room, I don't remember if this was painted the last time I showed you guys, but uh, we chose this yellow in here. And I've noticed that the yellow is more vibrant um, at certain points of the day when the sun's shining in, and then it's more muted at other times. So this room, we're going to be putting Juliet's current furniture, which is a Victorian Eastlake, Eastlake, Victorian Eastlake set that I bought in a video a few years ago um, in York. I bought a whole set of it and she's been using it, but now that she has her loft bed, she doesn't need it anymore. So I think we're gonna put this that in this room and uh, maybe make this a guest room or something. But here is the nursery and I know you guys loved the green. <laughs> I got really, I got really mixed, um, mixed feelings about the green when I showed you guys this room. But over here, we've started to hang the wallpaper. We got about two panels up and then decided that we needed to call it a day and go eat because we were both grumping at each other. I think it's because we're both, we're both very particular and we both have our own way of doing things and we both micromanage. So it was, it was an interesting experience, but we got two up and I think we're gonna try to finish it either today or tomorrow. So that wall should be done. Uh, the other issue we had is I bought this laser level for the walls. I thought, oh, that's so much better than like a regular manual level. Well, guess what? We did Juliet's room and then by the time we got it in here, it wasn't working. So I literally just hung it the way I thought it was level. <laughs> which in an old house, nothing is level. So, I mean, it looks good though. It looks like I did a good job figuring out the lines there. There have been no updates in the big room, except that I ordered a rug for this room and I also ordered a rug for the dining room. That's really the only update. Um, and we haven't heard anything about the couch. I know when I told you guys that I had ordered a couch from Ashley Furniture, uh, you, <laughs> you let me know that they're not the best. Um, and it's funny that you, you mentioned that in the comments because my last experience with Ashley Furniture about 10 years ago was absolutely horrible. And I decided to give them another chance. So we'll see, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. But we haven't heard anything. It hasn't been the eight weeks that they said. After eight weeks, if we're still waiting, we'll decide what to do. <laughs> but um, I think it's only been about a month since we ordered the couch. So I've got about four more weeks till um, we hopefully hear something about it. We are out on the sun porch. It is probably gonna be one of my favorite rooms. And I know you guys said this, some of you said that this was, this was also your favorite room. And I, I expect I'll be spending a lot of time out here um, just because of the view. The landscaper is gonna clean up this koi pond area 
and make it look really nice. So it'll be great to sit out here to enjoy my coffee. Uh, we had talked about putting a few bird feeders out there uh, with all the different kind of birds we have. Uh, it would be nice to just sit out here and watch the birds. We also thought maybe we'd put Charlie and Pumpkin, our two sun conures, out here on the porch. They're currently on the sun porch and they, they like it out there, so. Uh, here is the totes of all the baby stuff. I've been storing it in totes. You probably recognize some of those things. That's a lot of the stuff that you guys brought to the meet and greet. So I've had it sealed in totes and uh, waiting until we <laughs> moved into the new house. And I'm really excited to get in upstairs, but there's no furniture up there yet. I don't even know what's in this one. Oh, those are, those are the clothes I've bought at Goodwill for the baby. Lost this giant um, tree branch the other day. There is a dog. It's not my dog. <laughs> but anyway, um, this tree branch did unfortunately fall the other night in the storm. Holy smokes. I'm glad we got the trees cleaned up. Did you get the bed of the truck shut? Yeah. I'm going to move this flower out. Get it some water. That's insane. Um, I'm glad it fell there because I was a little nervous that something might fall on the house. And then I bought this gazebo from Home Depot. And the reason I bought this is because we currently have a very large uh, table that is out on our porch. And it's not really weather resistant. I mean, it's an outdoor table, but it's not meant to be exposed to the elements. So I bought this gazebo and the plan is to put it right here and put our table out here um, to replace the picnic table. So my dad is going to be putting that together um, next week. So that's gonna be a fun, a fun project, I think. He's gonna really enjoy it. <laughs> Oh, you should have heard Andrew about moving these boxes around the house. He's like, those boxes were... And when I read the reviews on the gazebo, half the reviews were like, oh my gosh, the box was so heavy, I couldn't move it. So, <laughs> I mean, if that's really all they had to complain about is the, the boxes being heavy, I think, I think it'll be nice. All right, well, I'm now back in the car. <laughs> um, but that was the house update. I feel like we've come a long way in four weeks. Um, but the baby is due in two weeks. By the time you're seeing this video, I'm a lot closer. Um, I don't think I would have had the baby yet unless she decides to come early. But um, I'm going to get out of here now. I'm actually gonna take you guys back to the shop. I think I have two or three more boxes from the previous auction haul to go through. And uh, Andrew is doing another pickup today. So he's going to pick up next auction so i want to keep on top of it i want to go through that and i also have a ton of listings to do so we're heading back to the shop and uh, we're gonna finish off this video there so i'll see you when we get there all right well here we are back at the shop i spent the entire day listing you can see the kids are already out of school <laughs> <laughs> i think i did about 45 listings today so i'm feeling pretty good about that uh, now i've unloaded one of the boxes here on the cart and we're gonna go through that and then i might grab another one we'll see so here is everything we have on the cart and here is the next auction haul however i do think that um yeah there's a lot of empties on this pile so it's not really as crazy as it looks as for that pile over in that direction um that's about two and a half weeks worth of video stuff so what i'm trying to do is list the stuff as the videos drop um so we kind of have a little bit of a traffic jam over there because um, some of that stuff isn't going to be dropping to video for about two weeks. So <laughs> Shelby has been working very hard to get it all processed for me and uh, I definitely, definitely appreciate all of her help. Now let's talk about the stuff that I have here on the card. Um, so these glasses and this little ice thing I bought for myself. I absolutely love these glasses. So I paid up for them. Uh, they are marked on the bottom, Eng, Eng, I, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but um, Bretson, something to that effect. Uh, but they're hand-blown. They're actually quite thin. So I think we're going to use these at the new house. The adults are going to use them at the new house. Uh, we don't want them getting broken. 
because uh, I did spend quite a bit of money on them, but I just thought they were absolutely beautiful. So um, those I am keeping for myself. And then we have this black satin glass, which I suspect is Tiffin. I haven't done any research on it, uh, but I do believe that uh, Tiffin did this finish. There are two bowls here, as you can see, and two candlesticks um, and a vase, all with that same satin finish, but they are glass. Now this one over here is giving me mixed vibes because the, well, I'll show you. The pedestal, I feel like, is glass. But this, I want to say it's pottery. I don't know. I just don't think that that is, uh, is glass. <laughs> Sissy's playing her game. Um, and then we have some vases here. So this one is Murano. You can see the Submerso. When I bought it, I actually thought it had a scavo texture. But now that I have it, and I'm looking at it, I realize that it's just very dirty. So there is no scavo texture. <laughs> it's just dirty. So we're going to have to get that one cleaned up. This one here, I think is, what is it? Glasner. And it has these beautiful applied leaves to an amethyst glass body. This one, I suspect, is the same maker because you can see the similarities in it. But I do not see any signatures on this one. And it does have a satin finish. I'm going to assume they're the same makers when I do my research and find out if, in fact, um, they are. You can see there is remnants of a sticker on the bottom. So this one may have had a sticker. And then we have this vase. And I love the contrast of the amber. It's kind of like, like a smoky amber with blue. This one is signed also there on the edge. Looks like R-E-A-G-77, but I'm not familiar with that, so meh. we'll figure it out. But um, I did decide that I'm going to list this guy down here, that painting. <laughs> I am going to list that um, just because now that I've gotten into the house and I've done some decorating and stuff, I don't think that it's going to mesh. So I'm, I feel like there's going to be a lot of things that I'm doing that with. But anyway, I'm going to move these down to the next row and bring over another box and we will go through that together so check that out i cleaned it with some soap and water i didn't have to use vinegar i was able to get a toothbrush down in there with some soap and water isn't that beautiful Looks so much better okay here is the last and final box i should say it was two boxes two boxes of the haul from the previous week's auction and uh I feel like there's some pretty nice stuff on this cart. This is the one I'm most excited about. That thing is amazing. I think it might be French. It's so ornately carved and it has a bird on it. Here, Andrew, why don't you model it for us? I can't do it one-handed. Look at the bird. Mm -hmm. It's like really deeply engraved in the glass. Yes, there is a chip. I see you trying to fun sponge it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, the bottom is polished. It's just an absolutely stunning piece that I don't know a whole lot about. But when I saw it, I knew that that piece had quality. Yeah. It's heavy. It's, it's thick heavy. glass. Yeah, and etched. There's a lot of work going into that. Yeah, and like I said, I'm leaning towards French, but I haven't researched it yet. So this is the preliminary impressions. So if it's French, would that make it a wee-wee jar? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Sizzy. <laughs> All right, and the other things we have on this cart, some of these are extras. Andrew wanted um, a ribbon. It was a... Uh, you, oh, the Ulysses S. Grant ribbon. Yeah, that was for his uh, funeral commemorate. It was like a souvenir from his funeral. So you bought a lot because of the ribbon. And I paid 60 bucks for the lot. Uh-huh. And I sold the ribbon for 125 already. Okay. Wholesaled it to another dealer. Mm -hmm. um, and we are left with these things. Yeah, I mean. Here. This little guy right I know, here. the dollar horse. Yeah. Absolutely. So this is probably worth at least 30 bucks. The Swedish dollar horse. The brass things, we weren't really sure what those Strap were. <laughs> this is probably just a souvenir piece from Holland. It's full of potpourri. Do you hear that? It's like a bell. 
Maybe that's its purpose. <laughs> we weren't sure what this thing was. Oh, it looks like it opens. You should try to open that. Maybe it shouldn't. I don't think it does. Are you sure? There's a seam there. If it is, it's stuck shut. Okay, maybe not. Uh, this is really weird, but it looks interesting. It has a claw. It silver. That's what I'm saying. It looks it looks silver, and the bottom is really polished. It's faceted. It's probably plate though. It's just very, very interesting. Not really sure what that is. Um, and then we have some glass. I think that this one is Blanco. I think it's a candlestick holder. That's a wooden box. It's actually pretty nice. I know. I think it's made of burl wood, isn't that? Yeah, it's actually Those really lines nice to it. This thing was really weird and really cool. We couldn't decide if it was wood or if it's a resin. And I, again, I'm not really sure of its purpose, but it's very ornate. We have two bowls, likely Murano. Nice polished bases. Beautiful form. I like this one. It's kind of got an opalescence to it. This guy is Pilgrim Glass. He's an owl. With some Bolacante. Murano Duck. And he has no chips or cracks on him either. He's dirty just like that vase that I showed earlier. This is absolutely beautiful. And I don't know who makes it. Um, but it is an opaline glass. Little compote with a lid. And then we have a stack of uh, stuff. <laughs> this one is made in China. I think that was an extra in one of these. But oh, I, did, I did buy a whole bunch of uh, enamel. So... This one is Arts and Crafts period. Oh, look, we have a cheat sheet. <laughs> Bavano of Cheshire. Yes. The ultimate and decorative accessory. That's a popular one. I find that a lot. Is that a per is that a, like a lady with a flower face? Yes. <laughs> it is a plant pixie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so bizarre. Um anyway, this one. So that's kind of cool. That they gave us 1920s to 1950. 1920s. 20s to 50s. Okay, so this is these are nice, nice pieces. I know. Yeah, it's the same artist. There you go. Necrosoff. Enamel on. Well, one of them is enamel on copper. I'm assuming they're both enamel on copper. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And this one is just Benedict Maya Bronze. Hey, good luck. Now this thing here, we couldn't figure out what this was. We were thinking maybe it's a tool of some sort, but when Andrew picked it up, it fell all over the yeah, floor. Yeah, I don't know. There's it comes apart. Different sizes. So, if you know what it is, let us know in the comments because we're curious. It's a it's a portable antenna. Uh uh you're making yes. that up. It's no. A, it's a it's a left-handed smoke shifter. Okay, all right, we're done. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul here back at the shop. I feel good about getting through that stuff. Now I can get it listed along with all of the other stuff I have on my plate. And then eventually we can get through these boxes. <laughs> um, Andrew did tell me that only two of them are empty. The rest are full. Uh, but you had purchased a lot of stuff in this auction this too. This actually came from the last sale. This is oh, that's that right. Ooh, turtle. I was so excited about this too, and he got left behind. Well, I got I was given the wrong yeah. sculpture, I don't so I have one, one that I have to either. take back. Yeah, turtle. <laughs> He's so cute. Turtle. I'm glad he made his way home to us. Yes. Hey. Are you being goofy? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I guess we're gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.